Well, hello there and welcome to the beautiful Pasadena Playhouse here in Pasadena, California. It is one of the treasures of the greater Los Angeles area and indeed it is a treasure of the theater in all of America. It was founded in 1917 as the Community Playhouse Association of Pasadena by local theater impresario Gilmer Brown. It was so popular that in 1925, the citizens of Pasadena, about a thousand of them, banded together and funded the building of this beautiful, large theater, 686 seats, and one of the fine, finest theater complexes at the time in the entire world. It was also designed by a noted local architect, Elmer Gray. He also designed the Beverly Hills Hotel, the Throop Hall over at the original Caltech campus, and also with his partner, Myron Hunt, designed the Henry Huntington Mansion in San Marino, which is now the home of the Huntington Art Gallery. So what is very cool is that Gilmore Brown, when he founded the Playhouse, was very much inspired by the ideals of the Little Theater Movement of Europe. And one of the chief proponents of the Little Theater Movement was the great Konstantin Stanislavski. This is his book, My Life in Art. It is one of my favorite books on the, on the theory and the practice of theater. If you're a person interested in the theater or a performer or an actor, I highly recommend it because it is really, really wonderful. So, Stanislavski, many of the great playwrights of the era, all wanted to have a theater that was more intimate, more personal, and that really explored the human condition. Of course, great playwrights like Anton Chekhov and Strindberg from the turn of the century were also the inspirations of this. So that was what was behind the founding of the Pasadena Playhouse. It came out of the little theater movement, which was sort of almost like the indie cinema of its day, as a contrast to the big Broadway theaters, which were great as well where impresarios like David Velasco would put on these huge, big budget spectaculars. By contrast, the little theaters were smaller, more intimate venues that really emphasized realism, realistic dramas, and were very, very popular with the public. So this place wound up being an incredible place for talented people. Among the notable alumni and players, by the way, there was also a school that was founded here, a fully accredited school of theater arts founded in the late 1920s, and that lasted until 1969. They trained thousands of talented actors here. Among the notable alumni and also notable players who performed here include such classic Hollywood stars as Tyrone Power, Eleanor Parker, Joel McRae, Gloria Stewart, who I actually met a number of years ago, which was very, very cool, and many, many others, Victor Mator, uh, I, mean, I, can't even, I can't even name them all, Randolph Scott, many of them, and also such notable contemporary actors as Angela Bassett, Al Pacino, Gene Hackman, Sandra Singh Lowe, and also Leonard Nimoy, another one of my favorite actors. Yes, Mr. Spock <laughs> performed and studied, which is very cool. So, and a couple other really amazing facts about the Pasadena Playhouse. It was so highly regarded in its day. Again, it was, it was at the time occupied almost a full city block of all the different buildings and workshops and, uh, and dressing rooms. It was one of the largest theater complexes in the world. It was so renowned that they hosted premieres here of works by such incredible writers as Eugene O'Neill, F. Scott Fitzgerald, Noel Coward, and one of my favorite playwrights, Tennessee Williams. This place was so remarkable, and the Pasadena Playhouse has such a high level of support from the community that George Bernard Shaw called Pasadena the Athens of the West because Pasadena supported its theater so much, just as ancient Athens supported the theater of Dionysus, where in fact, during the yearly festivals of Dionysus, in the 6th and 5th and 4th centuries, the great ancient Greek art of the drama was born. And playwrights like Aeschylus and Euripides and Sophocles presented their plays as an offering to the gods, to the god Dionysus. And that actually brings me to another reason why it's so important to support community theater, theater of all kinds. I performed in theater on a number of occasions. I really, really enjoyed it. There's something that is so magical about the connection between a performer and their audience. And that really only happens in the live theater. I can't tell you what a thrill it was when I was really in a role and was really feeling it to be on the stage and I could, I could feel the audience's response. I could feel the energy and the connection with them. And you know then you're creating something that is a, a moment of truth, of, of pure art and beauty. And it's it's just an indescribably wonderful thing. And that is why I love the theater. So if you want to go and enjoy that experience, please go support your local community theater. It is so important, especially in the era of Matt Air mass entertainment is something that is small and personal. It's done by human beings, can't be mass replicated really. It is really something that is, is best appreciated in person. 
So be sure to support your local community theater. And when you come to Los Angeles, be sure to support and to visit the beautiful Pasadena Pocahontas.